My name is Zuelim Kize, a member of the ANC in good standing from Ward 14 in Moses Mapita region, Wazulu Natal. My branch has joined numerous branches across the length and breadth of our country in nominating me to contest the position of the ANC president at our upcoming 55th National Conference. Zuelim Kize has officially thrown his hat into the ring for the ANC presidency and this ambitious attempt is not his first. The first time we saw Mkize vie for the ruling party's top position was in 2017. Fast forward to 2022 and Mkize is once again reaching for the top spot. But who is Dr. Zuelini Lawrence Mkize? Mkize was born in Peter Maritzburg and studied medicine at then University of Natal. After graduating, Mkize was forced into exile by the apartheid government, settling in Swaziland and later Zimbabwe. Upon his return in 1991, he served the ANC in various leadership positions. First, as a member of the ANC's National Health Secretariat, a structure that was tasked with developing the country's health policies. He then later served as KZN Health MEC in 1994, a position he held for a decade. Nkize's career seemed to continue to thrive when he was appointed MEC for Finance and Economic Development in KZN. At the same time, he was chairperson of the ANC's National Education and Health Subcommittee. He went on to become KZN's Premier in 2009. He was chairperson of the ANC in KZN the previous year and was re-elected for the position in 2012. Mkize was then elected Treasurer General of the ANC at the 53rd National Conference. By 2018, Mkize had worked his way up to Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs before serving in his most recent ministerial role as Health Minister. With such an impressive career trajectory, one would think Mkize would continue to rise through the ranks and realize his presidential dreams effortlessly right? Wrong. He began to make headlines for all the wrong reasons during the COVID-19 pandemic when he was the Minister of Health. Nkiza's name became entangled in a tender corruption scandal involving a company called Digital Vibes. According to reports, associates of Mkize and other third parties pocketed millions of rands in suspicious payments emanating from a 150 million rand COVID-19 and National Health Insurance communication contract. Tahira Martha, Mkize's alleged family friend and long-serving spokesperson, and Nadira Mita, a former assistant to Mkize, were some of the people implicated. Imagine paying a company millions of rands for doing small things like scheduling a media briefing. That is exactly what Digital Vibes did to the Department of Health during a health crisis. The money was spent on things like lavish shopping sprees, trips overseas, home renovations, and even a land cruiser from Kize's son and a nail bar from Kize's daughter-in-law. Kize's name also came up in the VBS mess after it was reported that in 2016, the ANC profited 2 million rand through donations from the bank towards its national election campaign. Mkize, who was Treasurer General of the ANC at the time, allegedly reached an agreement with VBS Chair Chifuwa Matozi where the ANC would raise money for the bank for municipalities and state institutions in exchange for millions. Nkize confirmed that he did meet with VBS management and directors, but said this was a formally arranged meeting with the ANC's Treasurer General's office to introduce the bank to the organization. He says the meeting was never about favors for the bank, adding that he was unaware of the bank's relationship with municipalities. He also said he had no direct knowledge or personal recollection of the 2 million rand donation by VBS during his tenure at the ANC's treasurer. These scandals have tainted Mkize's image immensely, but will he rise again and succeed in his bid to lead the country's ruling party this time?